what sort of priority would you make abortion rights and gay marriage as a congressman? Well, currently with this president and a divided Congress, you're not going to see much done on it at all. And we're seeing the strategy here is now at the state level. We've seen things happen in many states around the country regarding marriage and um, life issues, abortion issues. And so that seems to be where the nexus is going. You know, DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, kicked to the states. And as we know, it's legal in Iowa. So uh, nothing? Are you saying it, no priority for you to let it, let it happen at the state level? Well, whatever I, I will, I will defend life and defend marriage if it hap if it is brought up at the federal level. Okay, but you're not going to initiate anything to seek to um, push that issue along. I, I just want to get elected first in November. So, but what happens if you are elected and you get reelected in 2016 along with a Republican president? What would you like the federal government to do in regards to those issues? Well, taxpayer funding, if anything, and as and partial birth abortion. But we'll see what kind of majorities we have. But you know, what I've been pushing here in my campaign are, are not social issues, although they are important to me personally, but issues on debt, the economy, government accountability. And as we know, we have a government that's out of control. And recently, the IRS has, has pegged Barbara and Senator Grassley with a, a possible tax examination. What, what I'm hearing you saying is, I just want to clarify that abortion, gay marriage, same sex marriage, it are not priority issues with you, that you have other things in mind that are priority issues, you have personal feelings on those two issues. Personal feelings, but uh, if there's an avenue, if there's a Republican majority or a Republican Senate, we'll explore those.